Good morning, guys. Today I'm gonna take you guys to Home Goods, and then I'm gonna share with you guys how the house has been looking. This weekend we're gonna go to the house again because we are so close to our new closing dates, and I think their inspections are already scheduled, which is good. But I've been feeling a little stressed out, a little drained, and I'm escaping <laughs> the house for a little bit just so that I can go and shop and just distract my mind and see if I can relax and at the same time find some cute little things for the house and myself. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna take you guys along and then show you guys everything that I got. So let's get going. It was lunchtime, but I think it's because it's beautiful out and it's been so cold lately. And I didn't really find a lot of things. It was like slim pickings. I don't know if they were like turning over the seasonal stuff into new things. But either way, I was like mindful of what I was buying because I'm trying not to bring in so much crap into the house. Especially like our new house. We keep saying that we want to just keep things as minimal as possible so i just bought three things first is this little book for lucas it's colors and shapes i've been trying to kind of make it a point to start teaching him the colors mainly i don't know about shapes yet i don't know when they can gather that but the book covers both so that's it was six bucks and then <clears throat> this it's the most random haul it's only three items this is a dominoes game we needed one because um we we've played i think it's called bananagrams and this is a nice like coffee table game while we watch tv we can play it you don't have to really pay too much attention to it so it was 10 bucks so why not and then last but not least i got some cute little like straws for valentine's day i have some pink glass straws but these just had a funner more playful design there's like a cheetah print and then this one's like speckled or dotted so that's what i got that's it it felt nice to get out of the house i actually went to hobby lobby but they didn't have a lot of stuff sometimes they have nice things but they didn't really have much so I walked out of there empty handed and then I just got these three things from home goods. So the next clip is going to be us on our way to the new build. Cause like I said, we do have like two different occasions where we went. And then again, this weekend, we're going to go probably one more time. So I'll catch you guys in the new build. Good morning guys. It's a different day. We're going to the new house today and see it in daylight. I think if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that we went there a few days ago and it was already dark when we got there. We keep forgetting that the, you know, the days are shorter. So when we got there, it was dark and not all of the rooms have lighting. So today we're going to go and see it in daylight. And I thought I'd bring you guys along, show you guys. Ah. <laughs> okay, he's pretending that he got hurt. <laughs> Kitchen cabinets are up. Part of the coffee bar looks complete, so I'll show you that as well. And then some tile is um, laid out, so we'll show you show you guys all of that. This is our foyer area here, and then walking on this side. This is going to be our dining room area slash living room area, and then we're actually going to have a fireplace right over here and then just turning around is where the whole like kitchen is um and then this area right here is the like little breakfast area across from the coffee bar area so this is what the coffee bar is looking like so far our sink's going to be in the middle it's going to be a very small sink and then the rest is going to be counter space and then we are gonna have some shelves above. And it's nice that there's still space on either side because I think what we can do in the future is just add more storage. This little thing's not staying. That's not, but yeah. And then walking over here is the den, like study and den room. Has its own bathroom. 
that tile they haven't put the grout it's a full bathroom so it'll have a bath and then a vanity and everything its own closet so it'll be like a nice guest guest room slash office room this is our mud room over here it has another coat closet and then they're actually gonna do like a a built in here so we have our cubbies and then right through this door is the garage which i'm not gonna open because it's hard to open <laughs> and this is just another angle of the kitchen and what the kitchen looks like hi looky pooks our like island right here we're gonna have a farmhouse style sink and then we have our garbage bins here and then we're gonna have our dishwasher right here and all of this is gonna be counter space since we don't have our sink here and then our washer dryer is gonna be behind Sergio with a nice hooded vent for when I cook to our first room all the rooms have closets so that's gonna be closet pretty nice sized room and then across the hall room number two with also a nice closet this is gonna be Lucas's bathroom has a double vanity with lots of storage toilet will be on this side this is his bath right here and then he also will have a nice little like linen closet with some shelves i love the tile then coming over here our laundry room we went with like a mat i think it's a mat porcelain tile we're gonna have the sink and then the washer dryer. Bedroom number three. I think this is the biggest bedroom that we have. This one has extra closet space. And then this is our main bedroom. Right here. We have a walk-in closet. And then walking over here, we have like a, a linen closet, I guess. So we'll have some shelves in here. And then this is our main bathroom. Oh my God, they put the towel, the, the tub. I didn't know that that's what you meant. What a beaut. That's our stand-up shower. Our toilet's gonna be on this side and then our double vanity over on that side. So it is the next weekend and we're on our way to the new house yet again but this time we hear that there's a lot more updating to the house so i think this visit is going to be a little more exciting i'm making myself some coffee for the trip because it's about an hour and a half from where we live and then we'll be on our way Top. 
tabs are in as well as sinks and we absolutely loved how they turned out. The cabinet pools have also been installed. We are doing mixed metals in the kitchen with matte black and brass accents. basement is fully carpeted and Lucas could not be more excited. He was literally running all over the place. I think this is going to be a great area for him to just let out some steam, some energy. All of our bedrooms are also carpeted except for our main bedroom. We did hardwood floors for that one. the vanity countertops turned out i absolutely love the minimal design of them we chose matte black hardware throughout the second floor there's no mixed metals here this is all just matte black all throughout the second floor i forgot to do a proper outro for that vlog so i'm just here in my christmas pjs and i wanted to say thank you guys for coming along with uh with us to the new build i think everything is going to plan now with like the new closing um i don't know if i mentioned it earlier but the closing that now is february 3rd and it seems like we're gonna like that's like the final final closing date so hopefully that works out i think the next time that i do anything as far as vlogging the new build it'll be like an official empty house tour and we are really excited and super appreciative and grateful that we get to do something like this and i'm happy to share it with you guys so so i'm gonna end the vlog here and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.